You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, From Los Angeles, California, and Maria Menounos, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV Spotlight On. Spotlight On is a long-form interview series featuring actors and TV personalities. And now, from the world's number one TV after-show platform, this is AfterBuzz TV Spotlight On. Hello, After Buzzers. I'm Jillian Leff, bringing you a special presentation of Spotlight on an After Buzz TV. We've yanked her out of the 80s and brought her into the studio. Uh, everyone, please welcome the Goldberg star, Natalie Allen Lynn. Hi, it's great to be here. Thank you so it's much so for excited. coming in. Yeah, of course. Um, so, obviously, the first thing I have to talk about is The Kiss, oh, yeah, since that was <laughs> your last episode. Yeah. Um, so, how was it filming The Kiss? It was actually so much fun. For that episode, we were, it was um, outside and it was actually raining that night. It hadn't rained for like two months. And then the one night where it's outside and dark, it started raining and we're playing laser tag. Mm -hmm. We had the best time ever because it's like actual laser tags and we're all like, just like playing with each other. And then the kiss came up and then everybody was like staring at us like, like, you're gonna do it. And we're just like, <laughs> so much pressure. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Me, me and Sean were just like super, like, whatever about it. So, yeah, it was so much fun, though. That was such a good night. Old pros. Look at <laughs> you. I was expecting you, like, all nervous and yeah. everything. So, was that your first on camera kiss? Yeah, first on camera kiss. Oh, that. Yeah, it was, it was so beautiful. I, I am known for a phrase on my other After Buzz shows you give great chin. Oh, when you kiss, yeah, thank you have you. a nice little profile. It was adorable. When we were I watching it. it, what surprised us was I went in for a second kiss. <laughs> so we're just like, hey. And I just want to make something clear. <laughs> I'm the one that went in for the kiss. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> just, I just want to make that clear to everybody. <laughs> um, so obviously the show is set in the 80s. Yeah. You were not born in the 80s. No, I was not born <laughs> in the 80s. <laughs> so did anybody have to sort of school you on the 80s before you started? I, my mom, she lived the 80s, mm -hmm. so she was very helpful in that, but just like the wardrobe, and that really puts you into character, I feel like, and the hair that they do on the show. So, I mean, my mom, whenever she comes to the set, she's just like overexcited because like, it's her life. Yeah, like it's bringing playing, her back. Yeah, exactly. And she's like, oh my God, I look like you. That is what I looked like. <laughs> oh my God, a mirror image. How crazy. I know. I mean, we did a prom episode or mm -hmm. dance episode. And the outfit that I had on, um, my teacher who's on the show, she's just like, oh my God, my daughter had that. Like, and I, she had that. I'm just like, this used to be okay. <laughs> it's crazy. It's so much fun, though. Just like being on the show and having, going back into the future. It's so much fun. It's like, or like, it, you, that never happens. Like, I get to live the 80s, which is so cool. What's your favorite part about the wardrobe that they put you in? Um, you know what? All the scrunchies the big scrunchies that they put in my hair. And then uh, sometimes they put me in like these high-waisted like skirts and shorts and stuff, mm -hmm. which I really like. Yeah, because that's and like the, in now. Yeah, exactly. Came back around. Yeah, and it's it's super flattering. I'm just like, ooh, <laughs> that looks great. So it's, it's not like the, like, the, like the styles that are like super baggy. Like it's a good time period to be in, I feel like. Right, so the creator of the show, Adam, oh, yeah. obviously this is loosely based on his life, so oh, yeah. was there a Dana Caldwell in his life? You know what, we haven't really talked about <gasps> that. You haven't, you need to ask him. I know, I feel like Dana, she should be, I think she is a character, but even if she isn't an actual character, there had to be somebody that he can't even write about. He has to call this girl Dana because he can't say that you were his first kiss. There's, <laughs> Cause like he's crushing on her, like. He has this huge crush on her, so I feel like it'd be kind of awkward for him to say, like, call her, her by name, I guess. I don't know. Well, the progression of your relationship has been sort of adorable. You know, yeah. you, we've been waiting for it to happen so long. Yeah. And for you to make the move. I know. It was it was a great episode because, I mean, we've all been kind of waiting for it. Mm -hmm. We knew it was going to happen. So when the script came out and we were at the table read, I was just like, Yes, it finally happened! <laughs> Woohoo! I get to do this. <laughs> no, I, I thought it was really cute. Like, I mean, my everyone has a first kiss story. Yeah. That one was pretty epic. Yeah. A party. Yeah, it was 
it was cool because after the show, they had um, the footage from when he was at his makeout party. Which was and, amazing. And like, it all happened. Like, it, it's crazy. It's super funny. And for that episode, like, um, Wendy, who, um, she was in the closet when it, the kiss happened. So I'm just like, that happened. <laughs> so were you guys actually in a closet? We were in a closet. Mm -hmm. It was a super small closet that had walls that came out. So they would have the camera on this one side mm -hmm. of, like, half a closet. Mm -hmm. But it was a pretty small room. So it was... It was fun. It was really fun. It was cool. <laughs> Do you have a first kiss story? You know what? <laughs> that would be... <laughs> <laughs> or you don't want to share because your mom is sitting right next to you. Let's I hate go to put that. you on the spot. <laughs> okay, she pleads the fifth, people. She pleads the fifth. Uh, <laughs> so, um, besides the wardrobe, what is your favorite 80s thing on set? Um, you guys get to play around I with any love, of the stuff? It's so cool. Like, um, Adam's room. He has all of these really cool action figures from the 80s and all these really cool posters and stuff that I just think is so amazing because there's actual stuff from the 80s. Yeah. And um, we did a Goonies episode a couple weeks ago and some of the actual stuff from the actual Goonies movie was like some of the wardrobe stuff it was from the Goonies movie, which I thought was so cool. So you've obviously seen the Goonies. The oh, classic. yeah, I love the Goonies. It's they're, one of my favorite movies. So they're coming out with a sequel, or they're I writing know, a sequel. I know, I'm so excited. I mean, playing um, the cheerleader that day was just so cool because, well, it was actually really funny because when I first got the script and saw that there's bike riding, and I'm just like, she wears a short skirt, right? Yeah. <laughs> and when we were, we were riding our bikes, they were like vintage bikes, mm -hmm. and my bike was broken. So running up this huge hill, mm -hmm. I was literally in the back the whole time. <laughs> oh. And some of the cast members didn't really know how to ride a bike. Like Troy, he wasn't positive about riding a bike yet. So nervous so to ride a bike on camera. Everybody was like running into each other and into trash cans and stuff. What if they, I think I remember somebody actually riding right into a trash can. Were you so riding? Much fun. Were you riding on the lot, or you were out in a neighborhood? We were on location. We were in a. We were in this beautiful neighborhood that. Um, the Goldberg's house. It's on location, the outside of it. So yeah, but it was it was such a good day. It was so much fun. Oh my god, amazing. So who is your favorite co-star? Co-star, I would have to say Sean. Mm -hmm. We're we're literally so close. We're like best friends, and I mean Sean's like so polite. He's this super great energy. Mm -hmm. He brings so much fun to set, and I I love him. He's so great. He's such a good co-star. He seems like Mr. Personality. Oh yeah, he has this huge personality <laughs> and he's hilarious. Just some of the jokes that he makes, it's just so funny. I actually um, just rewatched the episode uh, where he had to take the presidential fitness test. And I know you weren't in that one, but <laughs> I know, that was it was just like him. I know. Just, like, he didn't care. I, like whatever, he goes with it. That's, he makes, he ma he's not afraid to make fun of himself, which I love. Now, do it's you so see the, the real Adam? in <laughs> the character Adam. Not gonna lie, I see yeah. it, I see it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, it but is I his mean, story. It's him. It's him. <laughs> it's yeah, his story. It's his story. He, he's not afraid to write about it, he's proud of it. <laughs> uh, is there any similarities that you have between you and your character? Um, you know what? I have a lot of similarities, but like the whole, she's supposed to be like the popular girl who's like just kind of like fun, but Really, I'm Adam in this, like, in the whole situation. I feel like I'd be Adam. <laughs> like, in the first episode, he um, breaks my bike when I ask him to fix it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that'd be me. Right. Like, I don't know. It's just, I'm not very, I'm, like, kind of awkward, I guess. I'm just, like, I never really, I, know, I like to make fun of myself, and I like to have a good time. So just being, like, the perfect girl, it's just, like, doesn't want me. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> how about uh, having your mom there as your She's mom? On the, <laughs> I was on, a, I think we did a couple of episodes and then um, casting came up to me and they said, would you be okay having your mom play your actual mom? And I was just like, yes, of course. <laughs> and she was actually on a show called One Tree Hill. Called where, One Tree Hill. We know what One Tree, <laughs> One Tree Hill, Hill is, lady. But um, she was on that where she, of course, played like the drug addict, the one who overdrinks. And um, she gets, gets the script for the second episode that she's in. <laughs> Drunk at the like the dance. Awesome. <laughs> it's just like her... Her M.O., I guess. Well, you were also on an episode of One Tree Hill, too. I was. I watched I was, it. That was actually my first job. Was it? Yeah. I went out for, I mean, there was like a, this 
it was Haley. She was um, watching kids. And I you just created out. havoc. I know. How fun was that to Wa- destroy a place? No, I'm not gonna lie though. Watching <laughs> back, going back and watching that, I'm just like, oh god. <laughs> it's it's just so weird to see myself like that little and just like acting because that's my first job. It's right. just it's strange. It's strange. It's 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 cool, but it's strange. Everyone has to start somewhere. That's I, why you're here with me right now. I know. I you know. Love to be here. It's so <laughs> exciting. <laughs> Um, so I want to know how it's how it is to work with George and Wendy. Oh my and god, Jeff. I love all of them. The great thing about the Goldbergs is that when you first walk on set, it's a family. Mm-hmm. Like it's such a good. It's just great to be there. You you're happy to be there, and they all just make you feel so welcome. And it's so great to be on the show. Have they I given you any advice? Um, the, Wendy is actually she just did a movie with my younger sister Allie. Mm-hmm. She did blended with her, so um, just like through everything, they keep they support you. They support you every episode that they do that we do. They they tweet at me and they they tell us how great we're doing, and it just makes you feel good. And I mean, it's just it's great to have people there, like just so nice to you and just like always there for you. I guess That's <laughs> I don't amazing know. Amazing that it's, it's a family. It's, it's just it's really great. It's such a great show to be on, and I'm. I feel so blessed to be on, like part of that family, which is so fun. Uh, so you've been on set for a while yeah. now. You sort of know the feeling. What is your favorite part about being on set? You know what? It's, it, there's something about like getting up in the morning and know that knowing that you're going to hair and makeup and getting in this amazing wardrobe and like becoming somebody else. Mm-hmm. It's it's cool to get this opportunity to be somebody else every single day. Would it, I mean, it's extraordinary, really. So I guess that's my favorite part, I, acting out these characters. What's your least favorite part? <sighs> early call times. <laughs> <laughs> like what's bu- but what's early to you? Early, 4 a.m. Okay. 4 or 5. All right. Um, our, like, the guy, like, back at base camp, mm-hmm. when he gives us our call sheets, he, like, laughs at me every time because he knows how much I hate early call times. Why? He has to be there a half an hour I know, before you or an I hour know. before you. But he just laughs at me because I literally come with, like, this huge hair and, like, sweatpants and a T-shirt, and I look, like, such a mess, and I get there, I'm just like, don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to wake up. I, I need hair and makeup to, like, fix this. <laughs> lucky girl, lucky girl. I know. I, know. I, I don't know how, uh, like, cast and crew do it like not cast but crew do it how Mm -hmm. they go and have to get themselves ready in the morning like I wake up and I just kind of like hop in the car and go yeah you're (laughs) I feel bad for my parents who have to take me because they're just like you have to get uh, dressed (laughs) yeah you need to like be awake I know be aware and drive uh so the next episode yeah uh, we you know had a a rerun this week yes so the next episode I kind of wanted to know if you could give us any hints about where you know the relationship what? is going. It's, I think the relationship is going to really take off okay. next season. Okay. So, I mean, you guys just have to look forward to that. I mean, I'm excited. I'm really excited to see where it goes, too. Okay. It's going gonna, it's gonna, to I'm really excited for season two because, I mean, the scripts are just going to get funnier. I can already see Adam to mind just going like twisting and turning, like what's gonna happen. So yeah, I'm excited. Okay. Well, I love the show, so I can't well, wait awesome. to see you on it. Thanks. Um, from the Goldbergs now, I want to transition to more of your personal life awesome. and how you got on the Goldbergs. Oh yeah. Um, so you do come from a showbiz family. Yes. Which is amazing. Yeah. Uh, both your sisters, your mom, your mm-hmm. dad, everyone, yes. everyone's involved. Yeah. Uh, so how was it sort of growing up always in front of the camera? It's it was different. Um, I mean, my mom and dad both worked on a show. My dad's an AD and a producer, like that kind of type, so he's behind mm-hmm. the scenes. But um, we, when I was like four or five, my mom got One Tree Hill. Mm-hmm. So we, um, we still lived in LA, but we moved to North Carolina. And out in North Carolina, both my mom and dad were both on a show out there. So it was definitely us growing up in between PAs. But especially on One Tree Hill, like, the casting crew um, took me in as one of their own. So, like, after work, I'd go and, like, go get ice cream with some of the directors and stuff. And I, like, I remember different um, times just, like, sitting off set and, like, yelling, like, action and cut because the directors would, I would always sit on people's laps. Like, I just, it was so just you were a the adorable. Family. you were the adorable one on set. <laughs> well, well, I'm not going to lie. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I I mean it was just it's really fun because it's just a bigger family I guess mm-hmm. but I had 
growing up in this business has been so great. It's just been, it's been, it's been an adventure. Mm -hmm. And I mean, sometimes there's up, sometimes there's down, but I really love it. It's great. How do you sort of balance it all? Because now, you know, you're a teenager. Yeah. There are things coming up in your life, like dances um, and school and, yeah. you know, how do you, are you homeschooled? Do yes, you go I'm to school? Homeschooled. Okay. Um, balancing it all is kind of difficult because there's just so many things that I want to do and some, I just wish there were more hours in a day sometimes, but I mean, balancing it all, it works. It mm -hmm. definitely works because my friends, all my friends are so great and they always there to support me. So, I mean, I mean, it just kind of works. I don't know how it does. Our schedules are all so crazy, but it works. <laughs> I don't yeah. know how. What happens when you and your sisters are separated? Because you are, you all work yeah. on different shows. Yeah. So do you um, have, does your have, mom teach you? Do you have teachers? We have teachers on set that help us out. Oh. But I mean, we have so many great friends who take us to set and stuff. And they're always there for us who um, make time in their, their busy schedules to help us out, which is so amazing. Like we have friends from Chicago who actually fly in just to like take us to work the next day. It's crazy, Aww. it's so crazy. So since your sisters are also acting too, um, you know, you guys aren't necessarily going out for the same roles, but no. when they do book something, how is that in your household? Like when it's one of crazy. you books something? It's so crazy, we all like get on counters and we start dancing, we put on loud music and we go out for dinners and stuff. I mean, it, our whole family, we all support each other so much. Mm -hmm. So whenever one person gets a role, like it's for our whole family, everybody gets a role, so just, it's, <laughs> we literally have like big dance parties. We have parties and people get roles. Like when I got the Goldbergs, we had a big party. We had a big party where everybody went swimming or jumping off our balcony. It was so fun. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. When you book a, cra even something crazier, you guys need exactly. to go all out. I know. Might as well. <laughs> you Rent only live once. <laughs> exactly. Well, hi mom, listen. Oh. You only live once. Uh, <laughs> so um, when did you want to know that or when did you know that you wanted to be an actress? Um, I think I always knew because just growing up, like we were talking about growing up on set, like I just knew that that's what I wanted to be. I knew that I wanted to be in that kind of presence. Mm -hmm. But um, just yeah, pretty much from day one. And then when like the One Tree Hill like role came around, I was just like, sure, why as well do it? Like, might as well like try it out. Like, right. I want, I'll be on the other side of the camera. Why not? And then kind of just stuck that way, I guess. What was one of the roles that you've had that you booked and you literally thought, oh my God, I can't believe I'm here. This is amazing. Oh, I, we, um, it's not even a role that I booked. It's a role that my sister booked. She booked, she's actually just doing an Adam Sandler movie. Right, where she's in South Africa. Mm -hmm. So when she booked that, I started freaking out because they were just like, we're going to South Africa. It's crazy. So. How long were you guys down there for? We were down there for like three months, actually. It was best experience of my entire life. Yeah, I so saw cool. you were hanging with Bella Thorne. Yeah, I, she's I one of my Bella. favorites. Yeah, I know. She's, she's adorable. So sweet. Um, well, that's that's amazing. So that yeah. was like your whoa moment. Yeah, I mean, we we did. Um, I booked a show called Flashpoint where I was recurring on that in mm -hmm. Vancouver, and going back and forth from LA to there was pretty cool too because I, I'm half Canadian. Okay. So. I mean, Vancouver is great. It's so fun up there. I mean, there's just so much to do, and it's so pretty. So being up there, doing that show was great. <laughs> Speaking of outside the U.S., was your favorite place you've ever been to um, South Africa? It was one of them, my favorite place ever. We had movies um, at the Cannes Film Festival in France. We went there, be best experience of my entire life. Tell us about it. It was just so pretty. It was so pretty. There are little streets where you can go shopping and there's, it's what you would expect. Like it's, it's, it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And in Cannes there is like this huge ocean where there are like sailboats just going past. It was like a picture. It was right. crazy to be there. And especially for the um, film festival because they had this huge, like every night we went and saw a different film. Oh, but amazing. It was so, it, it was out of this world, it was great. So I'm sure you either saw or met a lot of very famous actors and actresses. Yeah. Um, do you have sort of uh, an idol that is either in films or on TV right now that you yeah. sort of want your career to model? You know what, I really am a big fan of Anne Hathaway because I like how she can transition in between roles. I, I, I just love everything about her. 
how she can go from doing like these fun roles of like just being even her Jennifer Lawrence how they both have like the kind of careers where they can do serious movies mm -hmm. and win Oscars but then still go back to like these fun movies like these teen movies which I think is just great because they don't take themselves seriously I guess and I I hate when people take themselves seriously because might as well like have fun and just like play instead of being all serious all the time and I love how they I love how they carry themselves, I guess. Well, Anne it's sings. Great. Do you sing? I sing a little. <laughs> I sing. <laughs> I sing. You can carry a tune? Yeah. Well, maybe you'll be in a movie musical. Sure, why not? <laughs> I could totally see you in a Disney Channel movie oh. musical. Yeah, Teen Beach work. movie? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm really? A, I'm up for any of it. I mean, why not? listen, High School Musical blew up. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, look at, look at I all remember, their careers I remember, right now. Um, sitting and watching High School Musical when I was like six. <laughs> I love that it's movie. It's so weird for you to say when I was six because I was well, a teenager oh, when wait, that happened. I when was that not happened. six. I was like, I was like 10 or 11. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know what I'm thinking. I loved those movies. I was um, in high school when they came out. So oh, wow. it was, it, you know. I, that was a fun time to come out because like, Every, like, I feel like teenagers really like that movie, too, because of Zac Efron. Yeah, well, Efron. I was a theater <laughs> kid. So great. So I was more of a Sharpay. Oh, okay. Not the attitude. I yeah. didn't have the attitude. Yeah. But the the wanting to act and, and pursue exactly. things. I loved it. I thought it was great. I mean, just going back, Zac Efron. <laughs> he's everything about that movie. I yeah, love but, Zac Efron. You know, there are rumors that he's dating his neighbor's co-star. So oh, wow. He might be off the market. Well. And a little too old that's... for you. Well, <laughs> you never know what he's into. <laughs> Um, when he took his shirt off, like when he and Mia ripped his shirt off at MTV, I would just like pause our TV and just kind of like looked at it, just kind of stare. That's, <laughs> it was so good. It was that's so great. what I, I did. Like, Thank you, Pia Mia. <laughs> Thank you for that. I appreciate I know. it. Uh, so I want to know what what pushes you forward in this difficult field that you're in. My mom, 100% my mom. What does she do? She, I mean, she's been here. She's been in the business for many years now. So she always is there to support me through everything I do, and she always gives me the best advice. And I couldn't do it without her. I really couldn't. It's, I love her so much for just like always being there for me. So yeah, definitely my mom. Well, viewers, she, her mom is sitting on the couch and she's crying. Up, she's crying right now, <laughs> which is you. so cute. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, let's let's get away from okay. the, the sad stuff. The happy, sad stuff. <laughs> um, so at, here at After Buzz, we are all about TV. Oh, so yeah, of I want to know what is your favorite scripted television show yeah. that's on TV right now? Scripted. Walking Dead. Okay. Love Walking Dead. Well, we we have a Walking Dead after show, so you oh, should watch yeah, it. Oh yeah, of course. The Walking Dead is like my favorite show because it's. I love zombies. I. I love scary movies. I love anything scary, like Horror Nights. When it's Halloween, mm -hmm. I get 100% into it. We go to every single haunted house out there, and we watch, like, three different scary movies a night. I love... Ooh. So Walking Dead is, like, that show where just, like, you get so involved in the storyline, too. Right. You're invested in the characters. I know. It's crazy. I, I get, like... It makes me so happy when it's... I can't believe it's off the air right now. I know. Oh, my God. I'm just waiting till October. But oh it was a good finale. So it was a good finale. It was so good. It was so good. Oh, I can't wait for it to be back on. <laughs> uh, what about reality TV? Real <laughs> Every tell us, single tell Monday, us. me and my mom get in bed with, like, ice cream or, like, chocolate or whatever, and we watch The Bachelor. <laughs> The we Bachelor. love The Bachelor. It's, I mean, um, Juan Pablo this season, craziness. But, so um, crazy. We love The Bachelor every single season. Every, we have not missed one episode of The Bachelor. Amazing. <laughs> love it. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm a Bachelor girl myself. Awesome. So People always I make fun of it. us for liking it. But I'm just like, you sometimes need some trash. It's one <laughs> of those that. shows. Well, I like that and Real Housewives. I'll never oh, yeah. turn off the TV when they're on. Yeah, exactly. Even the reruns I'll watch. I know. I, we watch the reruns, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so on TV, uh, what is your dream role to be cast in? Like, if you could <sighs> remove an actress from a role right yeah. now and put yourself in it, what would it be? I think it would have to be... Um, Wow, there's so many great roles out right now. I know. TV is getting really good. I know it is. There's a new show out called, um, it's the Rosemary's Baby. Mm -hmm. And I, re like, looking at promos and stuff into that, that that would be a great show to be on, I feel like. I feel like that's just going to be so good because 
I love the, like the Rosemary's Baby is a classic movie. Right. So watching them put that into a TV series is just going to be great. And it, I mean, that'd be a great show to be on. Good answer. Yeah. That was unexpected. <laughs> I don't know what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> Pretty There's, Little I mean, Liars. Pretty Little. I love to be on Pretty Little Liars. American too, Horror that. Story. American Horror Story. That's another one I love. See, I, All those I host TVs. the American Horror Story after show. So oh, Emma Roberts resident on expert. That show. She's so good. Such a good show. I love that right? show so much. I'm excited for next season with Freak Show. Oh, when I heard that, me, I called my friend and we started freaking out over the phone because we love like the whole circus, like freak, I don't know. It's going to be so exciting. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so one more question for you before we go. Awesome. If acting was not on the table, mm -hmm. what would you want to be if you weren't an actress? You know what? I really like to go into um, photography. There's something about different photos, how like different photos can tell stories. And I feel like that just be a really great thing to get into, even even with acting. I mean, I love, I like going through, even just like Tumblr, I like going through all the different photographer like photos and just like picking out some of the most beautiful photos ever. And like going around the world, like, just like going to amazing places and taking photos, that'd definitely be just a huge dream for me. Well, you and your sisters make some great videos that you cut together yourselves and direct and, and <laughs> all of, of that. Some of those videos. Oh, gosh. So who knows? You might, we yeah. might have a future director on our hands, not just an that, actress. That might be fun. That might, I might actually, um, I like actually would enjoy that. That'd be, that'd be crazy. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, directors, listen up. You have an intern that's ready to shadow. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, all right. Well, I want to thank you so much for being oh, yeah, here today. Yeah, it was so great to be here. Um, this was an awesome conversation. Yeah. Uh, where can viewers find you on social oh, media? Um, on Twitter, it's at Natalie Allen Lind, and on Instagram at Natalie with two E's underscore Lind. Perfect. <laughs> Natalie Lind was already taken. <laughs> I gotcha. I uh, so I am Jillian Leff. Again, my Twitter is at Jillian Leff. You can find me on Instagram at Jilly Leff. And I also host the Fargo After Show on Tuesday nights at 8.30 p.m. We're not really sure the time yet, but make sure you tune into that. I want to thank Natalie again. And make sure you guys watch The Goldbergs. It's an awesome show. Thank you so much. It's so great to be here. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.